Hey everybody, how you doing? Mark here. Came out to a little countryside park to give you a little bit of information on one, what I look like when I ride. So I'll uh, pull back a little bit. I'll give you a head to toe shot of me and you can see what I look like front and back. Believe it or not, somebody requested that. So here you go. But the next thing I want to do, I had a couple of people asking me questions about my Insta360 camera setup that I do on Angel. Hey, there goes a bike right now. Huh. Nice Harley all triked out. Nice. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've had a few people ask me questions about my camera setup and how I'm doing these 360 videos. And I want to show you exactly how I do it, okay? So I have the Insta360 uh, One X2, I think is what it's called. And it's been a fabulous camera, it really has been. You know, when I go out hiking and stuff, this is basically my hiking setup now. This is what I do. <laughs> Instead of carrying that uh, big Sony camera that I'm using to record this video right now, definitely makes it a lot lighter, I'll tell you that. Um, as you can see, I got a little doohickey thing right here. And this is for my sound. And there's a, uh, a microphone receiver that will actually clip onto this right here. And it's the um, Rode Go wireless microphone system. So I have a microphone attached to my shirt under my jacket. I have the, the sending unit in my pocket. The receiver is on this camera. And in fact, if you want, I can actually unclip it. So that right there is my receiver for my audio and it's plugged in so you guys can hear me. Double check, make sure that none of my connections came out. <laughs> but yeah, that would just clip onto this little bar here. This would plug into it and then I get my audio through this. And that's also how I'm doing my audio on Angel when I'm out riding. So let me uh, show you exactly how I get uh, the camera set up and the position I use. I'm still in the learning stages of all of this and I'm hoping that uh, things will get better as I do more of these videos. But uh, let me show you what I've come up with and what I'm thinking about and how things might change over the next few videos anyway. So those of you that have been around my channel a while, you'll, you've seen me with this kind of setup right here. These are RAM mount systems here. This is a uh, bar clamp with a traditional ball and joint uh, receiver there. And then I had my 360 camera set up on top of that. And this is the system I used to get that frontal shot of me as we were riding along. And it worked pretty good. I was happy with it. All right, so now this is how I am now doing the no talking ride videos. I've got my selfie stick way out here. The camera's on the very end. Yeah, I've moved the clamp from down here on the bar all the way up here to where it's right by the brake reservoir. But as you can see, it does not really impair my viewing ability, you know, as I'm driving. The camera is so small that it's easily uh, just ignored, really. But this is how it looks when I am riding down the road. Now, a lot of times you'll see my my windshield and maybe even me kind of bouncing, right? It's not me, it's the camera. So as I'm riding along, the camera's doing this and that's what's causing all that bouncing, shaking movement when you're up close to the camera. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a walk around just to show you how far the uh, camera sticks out. As you can see, the camera barely comes out to around the fender height or, you know, it's actually behind the fender, so it's not like it's really jetting out in front of me any distance. My big thing when I'm trying to set up for these no talking rides is I'm trying to get the camera to be in the middle of everything. So that is how I set up to do my, my 360 no talking rides.
Now I'll get the bike set up so you guys can see how I do my vlogging rides. All right, everybody, here we go. This is my vlogging format setup in that uh, the camera is not out in front of me. I want to put it off to my side. I think that adds a lot more interest to the video. But I also don't want the selfie stick way out here either. You know, I want to keep it decently close. But I might play with this and start bringing it, you know, towards the front of the bike a little bit more, but still playing with it. Uh, as you'll see, well, for my vlogging setup, I have this little uh, base clip here for my sound receiver, my microphone receiver. That way, I can plug it in and I can get audio into this camera. So it's not like I'm having to run another camera or tucking a little uh, portable recorder or something into my jacket. Everything is recorded on the 360 camera. All right, everybody, I got to in interject here because I finished all my filming at the park, rode around for a little longer, came back home, and now I'm starting to do the editing on everything that I recorded, and I realized I left out something very, very important, and that is the camera itself. The Insta360 camera is programmed to actually remove the selfie stick out of the shot. That's why you get that floating camera sensation and why you don't really see anything. So yeah, that's the main thing as to why it looks like someone's like right in front of me recording everything. It's just that the 360 camera takes out the selfie stick portion of it. That, that's really the big secret to this. And in fact, along the uh, thin edges all the way around the camera, is a dead spot that's like a foot, foot and a half out before the camera would actually pick it up. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that that is the main reason uh, of why you get that floating camera image and why you don't really see any of this stuff here that I have attached, you know, my audio receiver, this wire, this little uh, adapter. That's why you don't see any of that typically because there's a dead space there. Now, occasionally you will see this stuff because you have to have it aligned. You know, if I go out and I have it aligned like this to where it's not proper, then it's gonna show up. But, you know, if I really play with it and stuff like that and everything gets nicely aligned, you really shouldn't see any of it. So yeah, I just had to come out and do this little bit of a recording just to state this because that is a very big portion of why the 360 camera looks really good. And the other thing I want to mention real quick is that some people might say that the, um, the video footage itself looks a little blurrier than it normally would. The whole reason for that is that the camera is listed as a 5.7K quality but 5.7 is over the two cameras combined that make up your 360. So what you're really getting is two, 2.85K quality cameras. It sounds like it's a high def camera and it technically is, but you gotta remember that the 5.7 is over two cameras. It's not 5.7, for each side of the camera. You guys understand what I'm saying? I hope so. All right, so I wanna thank you so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, give it the thumbs up. You guys know the routine, of course you do. You've been around long enough. But I do wanna thank you for watching. Always believe you can go out there for your adventure, guys. Bye.